to another video feature of the Immersive Worlds Handbook. Today I'm in uh, Los Angeles, California, and I'm taking you through the interesting uh, themed hotel Farmer's Daughter where I had a chance to stay, just across from the uh, Farmer's Market and the Grove, two other sites I hope to feature in some additional video features. So let me take you inside a bit and talk about the interesting uh, approach to theming here at this design hotel in Los Angeles. So I begin my visit to Farmer's Daughter with a look at first impressions. And I think when you see these particular images, you realize that for the guest, seeing particular things at the beginning of their visit is a very powerful way to establish the identity of the space in question. And I think this is key for any space that we're talking about, but particularly key, I will argue in this video, for design or aesthetically focused hotels like the Farmer's Daughter in Los Angeles. And you see here also the imagery of Tart, which is the adjoining restaurant, which plays a key part in creating identity in this space. Now first I want to talk about though the lobby as an opening statement. My sense here is to imagine that if you're a speaker and if you're a speaker you're giving a speech and in the beginning of your speech you're laying out the important components of what you're going to talk about, the foundations. This then, the analogy is uh, to be seen in the lobby of the hotel. And specifically then you can see the bohemian chic, maybe the hipster aesthetic in their very small but effective store is something that helped conveys the identity of this particular hotel. And I think we also realize then this opening statement is also established by some of the brand consistency in terms of the logo of the farmer's daughter that I'll talk about later. Another detail here, the mailbox helps establish the theme here in the lobby area. And I feel that overall there's a, a consistency in terms of what they've created in the lobby. This uh, uh, bird cage here and then the oil painting also uh, present some elements to the guests that perhaps stand out or are unexpected. And here are some additional examples that we see near the pool and also the pool table uh, outside. And here we're back in the lobby just behind the desk area. I would also suggest that the little details are really significant in terms of creating an effective design hotel. And I happen to know this, this after the fact, but this pair of shoes here is one example of some small details. Another is this um, yarn and um, crocheting set that we see outside the elevator. And I should also talk about how an effective hotel like the Farmer's Daughter establishes what I would call lifestyle trends. And lifestyle trends suggest that you can reflect something in the design or layout or theming of the hotel that will allow connection with a particular type of guest. And in this sense, I was very taken with the um, Artomat, which I also remember seeing at another um, very effective hotel that focuses on design and lifestyle, which is the Cosmopolitan in Vegas. And seeing something like this, I think, identifies or communicates with the guests something about what they're trying to establish. Um, think how a hotel might say to a guest, we're not a chain hotel, we're not cookie cutter, we're giving you something different. Such as the pool table, as we see here, very near the pool. And then in just a second, we'll look at here the image of the pool, which I found very unique in terms of having um, the uh, rubber duckies as part of the layout here of the pool area. And I would also suggest it's important in design hotels to have what I might call a mild attitude. And this is saying to the guests, perhaps with a wink, that um, they're valued. And again, other hotels like the Cosmopolitan in Vegas are also doing this. There is, I think, a growing art in terms of the door tags that you see on hotels. Again, it suggests to the guests that it's not a cookie cutter place. And if there's a wink also involved, that is certainly fine. And that's telling the guests something about the commitment of the hotel operators in terms of that guest and how much they matter uh, to that hotel. Let's also talk about the very significant aspect of uh, brand consistency. In the case of Farmer's Daughter, again, they're using this image of the Farmer's Daughter and we all probably have associations with it. Um, I would say it's effective as part of the brand and part of the theming of the hotel because there are many associations we have. The anthropologist Victor Turner often spoke of symbols as having multiple references. And I think if we have different associations with the Farmer's Daughter, that's fine, that brings something more to the table in terms of using the brand, in terms of using the theming, in connecting with the guest. 
What I really liked about Farmer's Daughter is how they use this logo in different formats and different textures and different colors throughout the scheming of the hotel. You see it on the literature, you see it on the logos in the room with the mini bar, you see it throughout the various spaces of the hotel. And going along with this, I would also suggest then they play off the sexual associations that we might have with the farmer's daughter. You can see here with these uh, uh, pinup girls that are presented in this Toshin book that happened to be in my hotel room. Now, I also wanted to address with you here the importance of effective signage and little details like this, the no farm, no foul, uh, playing off of other uh, famous phrases here is uh, one example of some of the signage that you see throughout the hotel. Another uh, sign I thought here, I guess more of the logo, the FD, the farmer's daughter, this is next to the yarn that we see uh, near the elevator as we're just going up to the upper floors. You see other examples here. And I think what's always important here is the use of, of different fonts, of, of different types in terms of presenting some of the signage to the guest. The other important thing to remember, I believe, is, and I talk about this in the Immersive Worlds Handbook, signage is not simply uh, serving the purpose of wayfinding. It's not simply telling a guest where they are, how to get somewhere, or what they're looking at. There's also an aesthetic to it. And I think you see it here just outside the Tarte restaurant in terms of using very creatively and aesthetically uh, the cigarettes as part of that signage. And I also would like to address what I would call what moments. And what moments basically are moments in which a guest enters a hotel, is interacting with the spaces in a hotel, and might just wonder, what am I seeing? Examples here of the artwork outside of Tarte. And again, for me, the rubber ducks that you see inside the pool are other instances of the what moments. The what moments are something that are out of the ordinary that gives a sense, uh, gives a guest a sense that they are in a design hotel and not a cookie cutter uh, chain hotel. We may then review some of the uh, aspects of what makes up uh, an effective design hotel. Certainly a focus on aesthetics. By using aesthetics, you can establish that you're not doing the cookie cutter kind of thing of a typical hotel. You're focusing on lifestyle and details. And certainly we would add to this the importance of luxury and a sense of effortlessness in terms of how that design is established throughout that hotel. And to return to theming for just a bit, I would focus here on the significance of theme and variation. And you think here, use the analogy from music, the importance of taking a particular line or melody and uh, embellishing that and bringing it back in familiar and also contrasting ways. This, these are some images here from inside Tarte, the restaurant. I had a chance to visit here uh, for breakfast, just adjacent to the hotel, but certainly part of the theming. But you're going to note throughout the bar area on the walls, I didn't get enough photos, but up on the shelves there, you see various um, images of the farm, of this theming. Even I found the napkin to be very thrilling in terms of looking at this and thinking about the texture and how this tied in with the overall theme. To go back to this earlier uh, image here, again I would suggest to you that there's something playful in showing us this yarn here just outside of the elevator. And looking at the outside of the elevator, they also play more on the texture theme that I'll talk about in a bit and also bringing back here the bird from the farm. And so now I'll focus on the significance of texture at a design hotel. And the first image here is from some of the rooms and I'm, I'm specifically wanting you to focus on the railings there and the faux weather look of them. Uh, I showed you this image earlier, which is of the um, no smoking sign, but particularly you can look at some of the background there. You can see what, what is, I think, incredibly unique for me here is the fact that at Farmer's Daughter, they have so many different textures. The outside of the tart restaurant with the weathered wood and then the um, images of fruits behind there, like a mural. You see more of the weathered wood there, like on a farmhouse just behind the um, uh, Lend a Book Library. Another example of wood texture outside of the pool area and ping pong table area. You can see a texture on the wall there. And then more examples here with some of the tile work that they have. And in the next two slides, I want to show you then a grid of um, 
19 or 18 different images and just take a look at these and these come from inside the hotel room the floors uh, the elevator some of the pillows and the blankets and here's the second image and for me this says something quite amazing about the level of detail to which they focus on texture in the design of the rooms and also the overall property. And since I just spoke about the room, let's take a look inside the room. And uh, I want to focus on the room details. And again, I've been rather obsessive, as you can see here, about texture, but I really appreciated this weathered look that they uh, had throughout my room. And I gather that the rooms are different, and we were actually on our uh, day of our visit upgraded uh, to a better room so that was a nice surprise you can look at some of the room features I enjoyed the mirror here this oversized mirror that they have in the room again I'm obsessing a little bit on the texture here but I love the um, the approach here to the concrete to the flooring that they have you're gonna see a great contrast I would say in terms of the uh, different materials you see within the room again I'm focusing here on uh, the textures that I noted uh, during my visit. Pretty minimal bathroom, but um, comfortable. Uh, as you uh, see the side table here, I mentioned this earlier, but there's an emphasis on taking um, some of these details. Um, I really like this throw pillow that they have here. Again, kind of winking at us a little bit. You can see the, the really eclectic approach here to, um, to colors that they have and the textures. And I liked um, this little detail here from uh, the room staff, uh, this, this miniature dog. And I think for me, as we look outside the window here, um, if you're in an area, if you're in a, a very urban area like Los Angeles, a room should be a place of relaxation. And when you enter the, the room and when you enter the rest of the hotel and the environs around you, you want to feel that you're escaping. You want to feel that there's something luxurious and effortless about the design and that you can simply come in, plop on the bed, sit down, enjoy a cocktail from the mini bar, enjoy the hotel, and enjoy it in a very effortless way. You don't have to think about your relaxation. Again, you see the signage, uh, the logo, rather, of uh, the farmer's daughter that is um, continued there. I enjoyed the um, light fixture in the room. Again, very aesthetic, very focused on detail, very non-cookie cutter. It's not just some boring, bland, fluorescent light that you might see in any number of chain hotels. And this is, again, very key in terms of what a design hotel gives us. Um, even the mini bar and some of the little details, brand consistency, but also, I think, very playful in terms of what they're giving to us. Uh, the trash can itself, playing that theme and variations that is so significant in a theme space like the Farmer's Daughter. Um, a small detail that most people wouldn't think about or wouldn't forget, uh, but I was so happy and amazed to see that detail. Some of the modern touches here with the light fixture and also the clock. So certainly uh, Farmer's Daughter does not mean non-luxurious in terms of that farm theming. Uh, it, it also can mean uh, that it's very modern and up to date, but also vintage, I think, in terms of the choice of that clock. Um, the uh, mini bar again showing a little bit more of the um, the logo here of the farmer's daughter and just a bit here I'm gonna pan up on the camera and uh, even this painting which I, I gathered from some of the signs said you could actually purchase this painting of the cabbage a subtle detail not an in-your-face example of theming that we might see in other hotels so there's a, a great degree of subtlety I believe um, in this particular hotel and now I'll focus actually on uh, one last detail here at the Farmer's Daughter um, in my hotel room. And I was pretty amazed to see this. This uh, is something, I've been to so many design hotels around the world and I hope you have a chance to uh, watch some of those other videos. But this was really amazing to me. This uh, work of art, and again you can see there is a tag that has uh, the name of the artist, um, Stacy Southwick. Uh, it's called Man Made and I'm going to uh, focus back here on the art in just a second and for me this was an unexpected detail it's one of those what moments I entered the hotel room and I asked myself what the heck is this and then as I started to look at the details a little bit more with these I assume what maybe are 3d printouts of ears um, the statue the cow 
Um, in keeping with the theme of the hotel, in the in the background, you get the uh, the weathered uh, wood there. You have these trees and the clouds. A very interesting and eclectic um, piece of art. Uh, all I can say about this is that it's another example of doing something unexpected for the guest and for me this was one of the most amazing things that I saw when I visited the hotel and we're looking at an image here of the of the outside once again hope you enjoyed this video feature today here in Los Angeles at Farmer's Daughter themed hotel and come back for additional video features of the immersive world's handbook